Hey guys, and welcome to today's video. Today, I have a short one for you, as I have an idiot in court who just can't get out of his own way. But first, let's watch a preview of three videos that you can expect from me this week. We have Judge Tammy, who you guys loved from last video, shutting down another sovereign citizen completely. There's a, if I enter like an oral motion of dismissal based on constitutional grounds, uh, are you standing on your constitutional oath? I'm not sure what that is. In regards to the uh, right to travel under the 14th Amendment. Okay, so that that's not actually in the Constitution. I just uh, wanted to point out to the court that automobiles hadn't been invented when the 14th Amendment was ratified. Then we have Judge Perkins explaining exactly why the court does in fact have jurisdiction to a soft hard. Mr. Gray, are you trying to get a driver's license? Your Honor, um, I'm here by special appearance. I, I, I knew that was coming. I knew that was coming. Let's just talk a little real simple, basic stuff. Are you trying to say that you can just run red lights, you can just speed, you can just do what you want to do on the roads without any repercussions at all? Your Honor, is this a court of record? I, I'm sorry, I, I, I is this a court of record? As far as I checked it was, Mr. Glenn? Yes, it is, sir. And to end the week, we have an out of control, delusional Karen who threatens to sue the court if they continue to prosecute her. So I will be counter suing Romulus, or I mean, I guess it would be Van Buren. And if the court proceeds with this, I will be also bringing the malicious prosecution against this court as well, because these are erroneous charges and they're retaliatory, which is a violation of my freedom of speech. It's a violation of my right to due process. So if this does not get dropped today, and it moves forward, I will be filing under color of law lawsuits against Van Buren and this court for violation of rights under federal question jurisdiction. So I just don't think it would be a good use of the court's time or resources to continue this malicious prosecution. They completely ignored my evidence. They, there was uh, sexual discrimination against me because I was a woman. I mean, it would really be a waste of the court's time. Yeah, we got a crazy week ahead of us. So let's begin. Okay, we're on the record in McNamara versus Sylvester, case number 2018299. The record should reflect Mr. Sylvester has appeared today by Zoom video. We also have Mr. Brzezinski present on behalf of friend of the court. This is set for a show cause hearing today regarding support. And Mr. Brzezinski, can you give me an update on this case? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, this hearing was adjourned from February 6 for the defendant to pay $200 plus stay in communication with the friend of the court if he did not have that ability to pay. He has a support obligation of $363. This is now, I believe, the sixth show cause hearing since June 22nd of 2022. The last payment was August of 2022 at $400. So most of these hearings have now resulted in payment. Um, multiple times the defendant has been ordered to provide job searches to friend of the court, which he's done but it has not uh, resulted in him gaining employment or making any payments. So the, the friend of the court would ask if he doesn't, if he does not have employment or any income that he provide proof of that, whether it be unpaid bills, rent, um, proof that he's going to the interviews, just verification of all those details to prove that um, he truly does not have an ability to pay. Well, I can I can tell you that my phones are currently shut off with a past due balance of almost nine hundred dollars, if that counts for anything. And I'm behind on my mortgage. That's six oh six a month. Uh, currently don't get a electric and gas bill because something's wrong with consumers. But I can tell you that we're behind in that, too. There's only one income in this house and there is a baby due next month as well. Um, there should be a payment made. I just filed my taxes. I received my state taxes. Um, I know you guys do with income withholding on that. Um, so you guys should be getting a payment for my taxes. I was supposed to get uh, 600 and some change, and I only received $238 back. So there should be a, a decent payment going to you guys out of my taxes. Mr. Brzezinski, uh if the court proceeds with contempt proceedings at some point, would this be a first or subsequent finding? I believe this would be a first finding of contempt, Your Honor. Okay. All right. So uh, I'm going to set this for a contempt hearing in April. Um, Mr. <laughs> Sylvester, uh, there's a couple of things that you need to do under the law. 
And number one is to make your payments, of course. Okay, and, well, I have absolutely zero. Can you listen to me, can you listen to me for a no, second? No, I'm listening. I'm, you guys tell me this every fucking time. I always tell people it's never a good idea to huff keyboard duster right before going to court, but nobody wants to listen to me. So let's break down what's really going on and how this moron is actually hurting himself. First, if you would have actually been listening to the friend of the court, you would have heard him say that yes, you were behind on your child support payments. But he also made a point to point out that there was evidence to show that you were actually trying to get a job. So even though you've been unsuccessful at getting one, the fact that you're trying goes a long way with the court. And with one unhinged comment, you've essentially undone everything he's done for you. And he doesn't stop there. First of all, don't use that kind of language. You're in a court. Okay. Hey, what are you going to do? What am I going to do? I don't come up you, there. I'm going to hold you in contempt. I'm going to issue a bench warrant for you to be arrested. Do you want that to happen? No, but you guys tell me this every time. I have 92 applications out on fucking Indeed right now. I can't help that I can't okay. stop. I get it. You're frustrated. But that's the second time you've run your crayon eater. Now the judge is about to give you one last warning. And I suggest pulling your head out of your ass so you can hear him. Mr. Sylvester, based on your language, I've already warned you one time. If you use that language again, I will hold you in contempt. Okay, well, wish. as I was saying, I cannot help that I, I can't get a job. Okay. So, I've had some places call me back, but it doesn't get me anywhere. I've had two interviews out of all of my applications. There, okay, I, yeah. We've got one vehicle, one one income. My my insurance is actually almost expired because I can't pay that either. I don't know how I'm supposed to make payments when I don't have an income. I don't know how you want me to prove it, but I, I'll I'll prove it. Are you done? Okay, I see where this is going. <laughs> are you going to listen or are you? Oh, I'm listening. Off? I'm going to get my shit transferred. Not before you go to jail for contempt because the judge has given you plenty of warning to control yourself. And yet you still went full smooth brain on him because you thought you were untouchable in Zoom court. But the sad part about this is you're getting all worked up for nothing because yeah, you're behind on child support. That's a fact and one that the court cannot ignore. So they're obligated to hold a contempt hearing, but that doesn't mean you're guilty. That's just a hearing where you can present all the evidence that you tried to present today, except in a logical, coherent, and less contemptuous manner. All right, you just used more inappropriate language. So I'm going to, based on your conduct here at this hearing today, I'm gonna to find you in contempt. I'm gonna order that you serve 30 days in the Otsego County Jail for contempt in the view of the court. This is a summary proceeding. And that's based on your conduct here in front of the court. I'm oh, uh, going to a lawyer I'm issue a bench warrant for your arrest. You'll serve your 30 days here once you're arrested and brought before the court. I'm also going to set this for a contempt hearing in April. If you aren't employed and you can't make payments, you need to pro provide proof of that to the front okay, of the how? court. Okay, how? You guys don't tell me any way how. April, or bring proof of that to the hearing in April. Okay, you guys want that. proof, but you guys, right here, this is exactly what I'm talking Okay, I'm, I'm muting Mr. Sylvester now because I need to be able to make a record and he's talking over me. Um, because you guys I'm don't give me a chance. To, I'm, I'm going to, I gave Mr. <laughs> Hey, babe. Hey, babe, I know you rely on me, but I'm too much of a dumbass to stay out of jail. Now, don't get me wrong. I do love watching a window licker trying to prove that he can smash his head through an oncoming train. It just sucks that innocent people are going to suffer because of his petulant behavior. And the fact that he's about to ghost the judge isn't going to do him or his family any favors. Mr. Sylvester, I've given you more than an adequate opportunity to talk here today. And, uh, at some point you have to listen and you're not doing that. So I'm muting you because I need to make a record. So if you don't provide that proof to the friend of the court at the hearing in April or bring it uh, or provide it to the court for the hearing in April, then the court will issue uh, or proceed with contempt proceedings and you could be subject to a contempt penalty of up to 45 additional days. Uh, so Mr. Brzezinski, if you can set that for a hearing 
uh, for contempt in April. I'm going to issue a bench warrant for the court's finding of direct contempt here on the record today, which is a separate issue that you don't need to deal with, Mr. Brzezinski. Okay, thank you, Your Honor. I will do that. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. Like I said, it was just a short, sweet one to get you prepared for the wild week ahead. And I promise you're not going to want to miss it. So if you liked the video, leave a like. If you disliked it, leave a dislike. But don't forget to leave a comment below and subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss any of my content. I'm Team Skeptic, and I'm out.